part two of the Lego character creation. Uh, we will um, texture this, uh, but since this is very similar to the cereal box, I'm not going to go through the details of uh, texturing it similar to uh, like an actual Lego. We'll just do the face right here and we'll just put uh, color on this one and shading of plastic. If you do want to uh, use those textures um, uh, online where they have front, side, back, uh, all sorts of uh, angles for the texture, please go ahead and do that and uh, we can um, uh, then go watch the uh, cereal box texturing series part one and part two uh, to apply those using projection from view okay so I'm gonna get started here I see that I miss rotated this one so I'm just gonna go RZ fix that real quick just so that it's kind of flat uh, to the world right there so when I do my rotation it'll be all good all right so let's get started with the shading you have to be in preview mode right here in order to see any changes that you do to this color, right? So uh, let's do the uh, head first. Let's go to shading here. And uh, we're going to download. Uh, actually, I downloaded it. So there's a bunch of this that you can download um, as shown on the first video on what you want to use for your character. So this one is just... Uh, it's Lego head that I found right there, so I'm just going to use that. And of course, Blender doesn't know how to apply that, so let's take a look at our UV editing. Okay, uh, let's go to the front right here. So first thing is that we just want to apply a regular overall color to this. Okay, so for the yellow um, color that we're going to apply, uh, uh, we can just eye drop this one. Okay, so for this one. I'm going to press tab right here. Uh, sorry, I'm going to apply a new material. Okay, so we're going to use two. So, and then we're going to uh, uh, select the whole thing. Press A to select everything. All right, let me turn on my screencast. All right, select everything and then uh, assign this white material so it turns all white. Okay. So let's go to our preview right here. And we're also going to click down here so we could see the Lego head, how this is actually applied. Okay. I'm going to assign assigned it already. I'm going to change the base color. I drop that yellow. So we get that yellow. Okay. So now we want the uh, face right here to kind of wrap around uh, this one. So we're just going to select uh, the positions right here for the faces. So. I'm just going to select from here, actually from here. This is where I want that face to be. So I'm just selecting almost from edge to edge right here, but just one off right there. Okay. And then it's already kind of defined for us right here because this is just kind of cylindrical. So. Uh, you don't have to do anything because it started as a, a cylinder, right? So what we can do, however, is select all these things here and then we need to scale this so that it kind of matches the uh, uh, the image, right? So I'm going to go move it down like so and just kind of scale it, all right? We're just kind of doing it like that for now. And then over here, we select the material on top, we assign. And there it is. And it looks stretch, okay, which is fine because uh, we're going to do uh, spread it out like so. Almost go all the way there. And then here, we're going to go, just trying to get the correct aspect. So we might need to include this one as well. So I'm going to try to get those. Should have probably done that before um, uh, stretching that, but that's fine. This is where we're going to project from view. So we're going to press U, project from view, okay? And then we're going to click that one, assign to the selection, so it's all part of it. We're going to select it here, simply do that, and then 
right and then we probably have to move it until that nose is kind of centered right there and we should be done with the head okay and it looks plasticky already i think we're just going to leave everything roughness in the middle and so on and so forth okay so now for this one uh we're going to apply a new material okay uh we're going to give it a uh, let's say blue shirt right there and then same thing with the sleeves right so i'm going to select the sleeve right here and these are still uh mirrored and all that we're not ready to animate yet so it's fine to kind of leave them like that so here uh we're instead of applying a new one we're just going to reuse the same blue right here so don't click new click the down arrow right here select that material okay we should name this thing so that you don't get a bunch of these named blue i mean material in okay right there so it's applied already on that one and then um maybe same thing with the pants okay blue this blue definitely torso here um we're gonna go blue and then for the hands we're just gonna go with that yellow material too which we'll call yellow all right and that should do our lego character but if you want uh let's give it a yellow belt so i'm gonna hit tab right there go to face selection and i'm gonna select all the faces here so alt click shift alt click actually it's that separate material so just select one and then control plus all right Then just kind of select grow your selection and then we're going to go another material we're going to add and then click down here click on yellow assign and then we got yellow belt right there matching with the lego okay and if you want different color shoes you definitely can just select those all right so this one is just project from view if you want to grab those uh, fancy textures that are available online uh, please go ahead uh, and then just watch the uh, cereal box, how those things are applied to the front, side, back, so on and so forth. Really easy stuff, and also for the leg. All right, so that should do our lesson. Part two is complete.